Okay guys, so welcome to the management accounting orientation. It's an introduction to the management accounting. Management accounting is a really interesting subject and it's something which is really new to you guys because you you know you have an understanding of accounts, you have an understanding of you know business and all of that, but management accounting deals something with cost accounting and cost management. So it's a little bit different subject, but very interesting subject. So in this session, we will be covering the syllabus area, the exam pattern and some of the tips to prepare for the exam. So let's start. So the first thing which we are going to talk about is the syllabus area of the management accounting. So over here, we are going to talk about the syllabus area of management accounting. So the first part that is section A covers the nature, source and the purpose of management information. In this particular segment, we have the accounting for management, the sources of data, cost classification and presenting information. So basically over here, we are firstly introducing ourselves with the management accounting, that what are the basic terms of the management accounting, what are the concept, basic concepts of the management accounting. So that's why it's covering the, what is like accounting for management, the sources of data, the cost classification and presenting information. It's more towards theoretical side, but more towards conceptual size. Then we have part B where we are going to discuss about data analysis and statistical technique. So in this particular part, we are going to talk about the sampling method, the forecasting technique, summarizing and analyzing data and the spreadsheet. It's a very interesting part. Over here, we are talking about different, different ways to analyze the data, to summarize the data, to present the data. So it's a very important and interesting part. Then we have part C that is cost accounting techniques. So over here, we are going to you know, cover some of the important pillars of the management accounting, like accounting for material, labor, overhead. We are going to talk about absorption and the marginal costing. We are going to talk about cost accounting methods, like what is a process costing, what is job costing, what is batch costing, all of that. And we are also going to talk about alternative or cost accounting principles, some new principles of the cost accounting. Then we have the next part that is budgeting and this is really very important segment and a part because this part is not only going to cover, you know, come in MA, but it's going to come later on in PM also, in FM also. So right now at the MA level, they are creating a base for you guys. And later, later on when you reach at a PM level or, you know, you are going to reach at a FM level, they are going to uh, give you more advanced version of it. So it's a very good time to create a good you know, base for you guys over here. In this particular part, we are going to talk about nature and purpose of budgeting, budget preparation, flexible budget, capital budgeting and discounted cash flows, budgeting control and reporting and the behavioral aspects of budgeting. So it's majorly covering that how you're going to do the budgeting, what are the techniques which are being used for doing the budgetings and how the budgetary control and reporting is being done and what are the you know benefits out of it. Then we have part E that is standard costing. Again, it's a very important part, very interesting part. Over here, we are going to understand what is standard costing system, what is the variance calculation and what is the reconciliation of budget and actual profit. It's totally practical and very, very interesting part and we will be doing it in the sessions. Then we have part F that is performance measurement. It's a very important part. Over here, we are going to discuss that how organization performance is being measured. So what are the you know techniques we use? We use some financial ratios. We use some balance code card, benchmarking. These are the techniques which are being used in case of non-profit organization technique like value for money is being used. So all of that are being discussed over here. Then how cost reduction and value enhancement is being done and how we are going to monitor the performance and then we are going to report the performance that is also being covered in this particular segment. So this is your syllabus area of the management accounting. Now let's talk about the exam pattern of management accounting. So management accounting exam is for two hours as we know. And over here, the paper is being divided in two segments, that section A and section B. In section A, we will be getting 20, 35 questions of two marks, making the total 70. And in section B, we will be getting three questions of 10 marks each, making the total 30. 
so that makes the total 100 over here so that's how you know my vqm is also being up vqm is also being designed we have section a also we have section b also so you get a clear idea that you know how you know questions are being asked in the exam and that's how you need to prepare for the exams also so this is the exam pattern for the management accounting now let's talk about you know some of the tips which you should follow or you know how you should start preparing for the exam so start preparing for exam at least two months before the exams since this is a cb on demand exam so you can give any time any year but you should start preparing at least two months before the exam so because of that what's going to happen you will get sufficient time to revise entire thing also whenever you are giving the exam you have to first complete your study text you know the study text given by fincham or any other you know place you are getting it but you have to first complete your study text and then you have to complete the vqm the video question marathon the management accounting that you have to cover and you have to cover it twice i always say that vqm that is a video question marathon should be completed twice before sitting for the exam because that gives you a immense amount of confidence that yes we know our concept very well also you should you know of course i would say uh, sit for the mock papers before the exam because also because of that also that when you are going to sit for the mock papers you will get a clear cut idea that what are the area where you are struggling and what are the area you have a good command so accordingly you can improve your performance the area where you are struggling you can put more focus more effort and accordingly you can you know make your preparations go well over there so that is also an important thing and if you have you know like since this exam is in the cbe format so you have to be very good in your computer skills and the excel skills that is also going to give you a edge over other students if you have good thing like a good skills over there so you are time is also not wasted in that particular manner so this is basically the some of the tips tips or tricks which you should follow and you should you know adopt for preparing the exams in this particular session we have over here covered the syllabus area we have covered the exam pattern and we have also talked about some of the tips and tricks by which you should start your preparation if you still have doubt about you know management accounting about anything you can comment down below and i will be answering your question about that that you know this can be done in this particular manner or this can be done in this particular manner so that's all for today's session i will be meeting you very soon Till then, this is Dishi Dishamaheshwari signing off.